Hi, my name is Dr. Mike Bate, and in this video I'm going to show you how to cast and run a polyacrylamide gel in the OmniPage Mini Vertical. This is what you will need. Gel casting and running upstand, casting base with mat, two plain glass plates with one millimetre bonded spacers, two notched glass plates, two one millimetre 12 sample combs. Ensure that all components are clean, dry and free of any chips or cracks before making a glass plate sandwich. This is a plain glass plate with bonded spacers, put together with a notched glass plate. And with the clamping bar pulled out and the upstand on a flat surface, insert the glass plate sandwich into the upstand, so that the glass plates lie flat on the lab bench surface and the tops of the glass plates are level with the tops of the white sides of the upstand. Then close the sliding clamps fully. Repeat for the other side. Insert the dummy plate if only casting and running one gel. Pull out the cam pins from the casting base and rotate them so that they point downwards into the bench surface. Transfer the upstand containing glass plates to the casting base, ensuring that the glass plates sit evenly on the ultra soft silicon mat. It may be necessary to apply gentle pressure to the top of the upstand to enable the cams to locate within the upstand. Secure the upstand to the casting mat by turning the cam handles in opposite directions. After 90 degrees, the cams will feel tight. The gel solution is now poured between the glass plates and the combs inserted. Typical constituents of a denaturing gel include acrylamide, trisglycine, SDS, distilled water, APS, TEMED. The formulation may vary according to acrylamide percentage and the size range of the proteins being resolved, but the constituents remain the same. Remove the combs from the polymerized gels. Transfer the upstand to the tank and fill the inner chamber with just enough buffer to cover the notch of the inner glass plates and to fill the comb wells. Fill the outer tank as well, covering the bottom of each gel cassette. Turn the combs upside down and reposition above the wells. Use the inverted combs as a template to position the pipette above each well during loading. After loading, replace the lid and insert the power cables into the corresponding colour-coded ports in the power supply.